We're at the end of August and the beginning of September of 2024. Exactly how do the costs of electricity compare to gasoline right now? A little over two years ago, I made a video uh, that was going into a cost per mile analysis on our then only EV, our Fiat 500e, compared to our Subaru Crosstrek. And I even compared my Ford F-150 to the prospect of a Ford F-150 Lightning, and I compared how the the electricity cost compared to gasoline cost at the time. I even did it with our motorcycles. It's been more than two years. It's time for an update because gasoline prices have fluctuated considerably and our personal EV experience has changed as well. So to give you some idea of where I'm getting all of my information from, I'm using uh, gas prices from what I can see with my own eyes as far as what local gasoline prices is gonna, are going to be. And this morning I Googled the average gasoline price in the United States of America. And according to AAA, I have that figure as well. And I'll get into that as soon as I pull it up. It was $3.35.1 per gallon. Now that is not what the gas prices are around here. For the electricity rates, I'm using my own electrical rate at home. I'm going to also use the national average of electricity. Uh, I Googled that today, and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that is coming in at 17.8 cents per kilowatt hour. So we'll calculate it with that as well. And I'll also use the rate for supercharging or DC fast charging at our nearest Tesla supercharger and our nearest Electrify America station for comparison. So that's where I'm sourcing my information. Now I'm going to compare with our Tesla Model 3 and our Chevy Bolt and as close as one can get to their gasoline counterparts there aren't really a gasoline version of either of those cars. So it's kind of apples to oranges. And I know right now I'm showing our son's Honda Civic and that's not even apples to oranges. That's more like apples and I don't know, paper clips or something as far as comparisons go. But um, I'm going to get as close as I can. The Chevy Bolt EV is a little easier to find an analog comparison with because Chevrolet also makes a vehicle that's very similar in size and uh, kind of in price as well, the Chevy Trax. So I'm comparing it with the Chevy Trax to get its fuel mileage. I looked at Fuely, which is a website and an app that will kind of gather information from owners about what their fuel economy is and uh, kind of keep track of it for you. For the Model 3, it's it's a little different because sometimes this car is considered um, a premium sedan or a sub-premium sedan. It's not really in line with, with the base models of the base. And when I Googled it, what Google told me was the closest car to it as far as competition uh, that was a gasoline-powered car was a BMW 3 Series. So I pulled up fuel economy stats on a BMW 330i. But I also figured, you know what, let's get a little bit away from that premium car market and go with something a little bit more mainstream. So I'm also going to compare it with a Toyota Camry, uh, just because it's, you know, four-door sedan, kind of similar in size. So let me break down what the numbers worked out to. To clarify, this video is a cost per mile analysis based on the cost of the fuel only. This is not meant to be a cost of ownership analysis. I'll have another one of those coming out in a month or two after I compile some more numbers, just like I did when I did these videos originally. I did the cost per mile analysis and then I did a total cost of ownership analysis. It takes different kind of research, so please don't confuse them with the two. Let's get into the data. First, let me start with the Chevys. If we go with the Chevy Bolt charging at home, it is 14 cents per kilowatt hour charging at our house. The car has over 40,000 miles on it and has an average efficiency over its lifetime of four miles per kilowatt hour. That works out to roughly three and a half cents per mile uh, of electricity that it takes to keep that car operating. The, over my 60 mile commute, that's $2.10 for my daily commute. If I make that commute 20 times a month, that's $42 of electricity every month to keep that car going. But what if my electric rate is higher? At the nav national average of almost 18 cents per kilowatt hour, it works out to 4.45 cents per mile. My 60 mile commute becomes $2.46 and my monthly cost goes up to $49.20. 
However, what if I did not have a way to charge at home and I had to only charge that car at my local Electrify America station and DC Fast Charge it? DC Fast Charging is the most expensive way to charge your electric vehicle. There, there is no other way that costs you more money. Our closest Electrify America station costs 54 cents per kilowatt hour. At that rate, 54 cents per kilowatt hour, it brings my cost per mile to 13.5 cents. My 60 mile commute becomes $8.10 and the monthly cost of that over 20 commutes is $162. Now let's compare that to the very close in size Chevrolet Trax. According to Fuley, that car gets an average of 28.6 miles per gallon based on uh, how owners have reported it in. Now, gas prices have fluctuated. When I checked them yesterday, the best price I saw was $297.9. But today, when I was looking for a picture for the thumbnail, I took a picture of one that was $269.9. So I'm going to figure it at that $2 and basically 70 cents per gallon. That means that that Chevy Trax at that inexpensive gas price is 9.4 cents per mile. My commute would be $6.24 or $124.80 a month. However, the national fuel average, according to AAA, is $3.35 a gallon, 11.7 cents per mile. That brings my 60 mile commute to $7.02 or $140.40. So charging at home saves you a substantial amount of money. If you're reliant on fast charging compared to where fuel prices are now, the electric vehicle isn't gonna save you any money. However, if you can charge at home, you will save a substantial amount. Now let's look at the Tesla. We bought this car a little over six months ago. We've put 13,000 miles on it and looking at the screen on its average efficiency and doing the calculation to make it miles per kilowatt hour, our lifetime average is 4.13 miles per kilowatt hour. Charging at our home rate of 14 cents per kilowatt hour, that is 3.38 cents per mile. Uh, that my 60 mile commute is $1.98 or after 20 commutes, $39.60. At the national average, it's 4.3 cents per mile or $2.58 over a 60 mile commute. And that same commute 20 times a month comes to $51.60. Now, the most expensive possible way to charge this car is gonna be at a Tesla supercharger. Well, in our area, they charge 35 cents per kilowatt hour. That works out to 8.5 cents per mile. Over 60 miles, that's $5.04, and over a month is $100.80. Now let's look at the gas counterparts. First, the BMW 330i. At the 270 a gallon that I saw over here at the Walmart, that, uh, that car, according to Fuley, gets 27.9 miles per gallon, so that works out to 9.67 cents per mile. The 60 mile commute is $5.80, and it is $116.04. At the national average, that BMW uh, is 12 cents per mile which works out to $7.20 over the 60 mile commute or $144 if you do it 20 times a month. But what about the Toyota Camry? According to Fuley, the Camry has a fuel economy of 34.4 miles per gallon. At the 270 a gallon, it's 7.8 cents per mile, which is gonna work out to $4.70 over the 60 mile commute or $94.08 over a month of 20 commutes but at the national average fuel price of $3.35, at least that's the national average at this time of filming, it's 9.7 cents per mile, $5.82 over a commute, or $116.40. Now I went ahead and I extrapolated the monthly cost and multiplied it by 12 to get an estimated annual cost. In a year's worth of electricity of me charging this car at home, it's $475.20 worth of electricity over an entire calendar year. Whereas if I was driving a uh, BMW 330i at the $2.70 a gallon that I saw at this Walmart, that would be $1,392.48. That's a difference of $917.28 over the course of the year. 
from this data, it is really easy to conclude that you will save a lot more money uh, charging this electric vehicle at home off of your home electric rate than you will filling up a gasoline car at a pump, even at a low price like $269.9. Now, if you have free weekends on your electricity plan, it's going to be even more savings. However, if you're reliant on DC fast charging, you may not save any money. In fact, you might even be paying more. And if you do save anything, the savings are going to be negligible. At that point, you have to rely on um, the other advantages of the electric vehicle, the acceleration, the smoothness, the handling. I like the way it drives myself. I like how smooth and, and, and quick it is. But charging at home is a big advantage in terms of savings of money. It's also a huge advantage in terms of saving of time. I get home from work, I plug the car in, I wake up in the morning, I have a full tank. I don't have to go to a gas station to fill up my car ever. One last piece of information that I wanna leave you with. How low would the gas prices need to go for gasoline to be cheaper than it is to, for me to charge this car at home? With the Camry that got the best fuel mileage of any car in this comparison, gasoline would have to be 97 cents a gallon. If I used the national average electricity rate, gasoline would have to be $1.25 a gallon for that Camry to have a cost per mile as low as our Model 3. If you found this video informative, please give us a like, put down some comments about how your, it, your, your cost savings are going with your EV, or if you're forced to do DC fast charging all the time, is it worth it for you to do that? I'd love to know. Uh, we've got more content coming up, so please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.